right, and welcome to day two. As the start as all goes online league, National Hunt Week 6, and we've got a cornucopia of races for you here. Well, more like courses. We've got races from Kelso, Cheltenham, Huntington, then we're over to Leopardstown, and then Fakenham, and then I think we've got to finish up at Leopardstown. So let's have a look at the races a little bit more detail. We'll start off at Kelso with a Paris Pike Novice Chase, where I'll be calling them home. Fairly small field there of eight go to post where we have Joshua Leon, Darren Thompson, John Morgan all represented in that novice chase. Then we're off to Huntington for the Peterborough chase over two mile four and a half. It's the group two. A much better field there. Got plenty of new horses coming into that. Doug Warren's got Miss V. John Morgan's brought in Joyful Countess, Thunderspark with Grunge, Graham Clutterbuck with April 7th, and Alex Cherry with Tarnin Black. They'll all be looking to go up against some good horses. You've got three-time winner Des Muyun in there for Darren Thompson. So uh, they're going to have to be some good new horses. Then we're going to go over to Cheltenham, where Martin's going to call six races. And we've got the CBC Novices Chase, the Marjo, Mar Major Domo Handicap Chase over three miles, one furlong. Triumph Hurdle Trial over two mile ones for the four-year-olds. And again, we've got some new four-year-olds in there with Derek Hinton's Northern Rack. Paul Rhodes Heist and Stu Gray's Dan Dare's Girl. Then we've got the Ryman Novices Chase, the three mile one. Fairly big field there. A couple going. Rambling Rhapsody of John Morgan. Uh, been out once, won once. Hasn't uh, raced since week three, so uh, we're assuming it's been uh, held out for this one. So it's probably a winner in the making. Then we've got the Jenny Mould handicap chase over two miles, and then the Bristol Novices hurdle over three miles as well, which is a novice, but a very small field there of just seven. Then we're over to Leopardstown, where I'll be uh, calling home the Paddy Power dial a -bet chase over three mile three. That's a group one. We've got some good horses in there. So uh, the highly rated Fort Lauded out from last year goes again although he was a fool of last time out john morgan's greens back park also rated at 170 along with battle for sparta for joshua sutherland and then thunder sparks war feather which is just rated at 150 but in the notes it says it's a four mile chaser so it's dropping uh, five five furlongs there to run into this one and there's some new horses also in there. There's Half Hour Hancock from Stu Gray. There's Christy Yev from Darren Howes. Nievre from Martin Liedem. And Sand Sandocion from Molly at Surfer. So good luck to those newbies. Then we're at Fakenham for the Moors Millions. Where we have the two races. This is the first start up with a three mile two handicap chase. Again, small field. Only eight go there. So a good couple of them will be wanting to uh, to qualify. And then we follow up with the longer version of the Moors Million Stairs. It's leg eight. And this one is the three mile six. Slightly bigger field there. Some horses, obviously. Macarena of Paul Rhodes hasn't been as successful as I imagine he, he thought it would be. And you got Blood of My Blood from Leon Van Rensburg which is the highest rated horse in the race. Then we just go back to Leopardstown for the Christmas Hurdle. It's a three mile group two, and there's some good horses in there. You've got Prime Suspect, Prime Suspect of Fort Roads, Paul Rhodes, Fort Rhodes. Eight's the Fences from Joshua Sutherland, Historical from Thunderspark, and again, a couple of newbies turning up. Espana Senorita for Darren Thompson. She's the one for Derek Hinton, and sadly, a new one from John Paul <laughs> Paddy's return. So that's quite sad for the other nine runners. So uh, good luck this week. I hope you all have some winners today and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.